I just whipped up a few batches of my healthy oat cookies and I just have to take these off. They've cooled already. Basically it's just um, some oats and cinnamon, a little bit of coconut sprinkled on top with a few raisins on top. And then the liquid is a little bit of milk and baby banana food. <laughs> so yeah, pretty easy. Um, yeah, I have one more batch to go and then I think I'll be making my mom some... She's craving peanut butter cookies, so I'll probably make her some of them. There's the mixture there. I made the cookies pretty flat and also small just because that way it's you know crunchier and I love a little crunch in my life I've got my cookies done and onto the peanut butter I've got the eggs in the little dish there ready to go and some sugar in the bowl I just have to add the peanut butter and vanilla and yeah the sugar is organic so it looks a little like off in color but I got this big bad boy from uh, Costco it's humongous all right, for the peanut butter, I'm using two cups, so I'll be making two batches all together. And I just finished off these containers, and this one is unsweetened and unsalted. I'll be using a cup of that, too. And I'm thinking about one of the batches throwing in just a few chocolate chips. I mean, there's nothing better than that mixture of chocolate chips and peanut butter. So I think I might do that for batch number two. All right, batch number one, peanut butter cookies. I just reused the parchment paper from the oat cookies. Batch number one is out of the oven and I'll let them cool for a minute and get them on the cooling racks. But the parchment paper, see how it's cut a little small? So I'm actually not using the whole sheet. I might have to do three batches. I've had this in the freezer, just that way it'll get a little bit more firm when I roll them into the balls. So that's the rest of the mixture that I'm going to add. Just a few chocolate chips. I know it makes it even more unhealthy, but I like to spoil my mom, you know what I mean? I just roll them out into balls. I've got the chocolate chips in there. I'm sure it'll be delicious. And they're kind of big and the reason for that is because I just want to get it over with, you know, on that second batch. And um, the other cookies are done so I'm just going to move them over to the cooling rack and get these on the sheet and then I'll flatten them out with the fork. Here's batch number two and then I'll be done. I'll just have to tidy up while this one's cooking and then I can um, be done with the kitchen for the night. Final batch is done. You can see the little bits of chocolate chips there. A little bit. My mom doesn't know I have chocolate chips in here, so I'm going to give her one and see what she thinks.